Megan, you found the pros and cons of this new development. Russell Bridget, the marina would be located underneath the Palm Valley Bridge right in this area here. It's expected to bring in business, but opponents believe it could be a big safety hazard. The Intracoastal Waterway could soon be up for debate. A developer wants to build a 78-slip dry stack marina. We believe it's going to help that congestion. Lisa Almito with Freedom Boat Club is a proponent of the project. First of all, it's going to bring jobs, so it's really, really good for the economy. It's going to bring activity for families. It's going to be good for the economy of Palm Valley. Opponents believe that the Intracoastal is too narrow to support the heavy boat traffic and believe this could be a safety hazard. People are going to be more careful and more safe because you have a professional forklift operator putting the boat in. St. John's County Board of Commissioners are expected to vote on the development of the marina. The meeting was set for this week but has been postponed so the developer and families near the Intracoastal can attempt to find common ground. As for Almeida, she's hoping the project will pull through. Those people who can't live on the intercoastal can't afford to or just can't even afford to buy the boat and trailer it, don't have the time and all that. This is going to allow them the opportunity to get on the water. If the developer and families can't reach a decision, decision, the commissioner will vote in about two weeks on December 17th. Reporting in studio, Megan Moriarty, Fox 30, Action News Jax.